All right, man, we back again. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Let's talk about Romeo and Cora. I mean, I know it's a guy I've done a video on before, but uh, shout out to my boy, One Pride Nation. Check his channel out. Um, Romeo Cora has the fourth leading NFL league leading pressure rate behind TJ Watt, number one, Aaron Donald. And I think it was one more in front of him, Joey Bosa. Excuse me, Nick Bosa got injured. He probably would be in there too. Say what you want to say about his political views. He's him and his brother. His dad got some great, his grad, dad and mom got some great NFL genetics. Let's talk about Romeo. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Man, amazing player, man. Amazing player, man. This year for us, man. He's single-handedly been everything we thought Deshaun Hand should be and more. He's single-handedly been more than uh, Trey Flowers, who's been injured with a, he got a cast on his arm, so I don't think he's coming back week 11 versus the Panthers. But man, Romeo Cora, he he got he looked like a defensive end, long, strong, lean, and man, he been getting to it. He got what six sacks this year. He fell out the top what ten of sacks, but right now I think Miles Garrett is leading with nine and a half. But uh, Jesus, man, if Trey Flowers played up to his, I mean half of his expectations of his contract, I, I guarantee you, you probably be, you probably have two double digit sack guys. You know, and the issue with the interior is they just don't value interior pass rushers. They thought Deshaun Hand was going to do it last year, got injured this year, he was going to do it. I kind of like what Jim Schwartz was going. I wish you could mesh Patricia and Schwartz uh, kind of their defense because Schwartz believed in the, the front four. And he had solid linebackers over his career too. And Patricia just believed in the back end, which I don't, I, I believe more in the, Schwartz L theory, but Mayhew, which was a DB in his league, and Schwartz had no, they had no regard for defensive backs. They just thought third round or later, we would take defensive backs. And Patricia has no regard <laughs> for the front seven. You know, and, and that's the issue because if you ask me which one I'm going to run with to have more star power, the front seven. Because any quarterback that don't have time, you know what I'm saying? So I think Romeo Cora is a spotlight, is a huge spotlight for the Pistons. I mean, the Lions this year. He is definitely, him and uh, him and Arariye are definitely the best. They definitely the best on our defense. The best. But there's no better player on the defense. And offensively, <sighs> Hawkinson has improved, but the numbers won't tell you that. Swift has been great. I think Swift is the best player offensively in Hawkinson. Easily, man. And um, Okora is just an animal. And I believe his brother going to be pretty good, too. I just think he never really healed from the, the fibula. And I think, uh, you know, his brother going to be a good defensive end, a good pass rusher linebacker in in this league, too. It's just that um got to get him on the field. But Okora is everything that Flowers is supposed to be. And that's just the God honest truth about it. But you think about this. He may not be getting the line slid to his side. But if, but if the Lions was winning, they'd be sliding to his side. On some side of baby self side. So they'd be sliding to his side. But this this, this front seven is just atrocious. <laughs> I believe Okora going to be a good player. It's, it's just atrocious. I don't, I mean, I don't think you got one guy playing like a playing – up to their they contract. Not Tavai, not Davis, not Jones, not uh, uh, Jamie Collins. I mean, Danny Sheldon is trash. Uh, Nick Williams, he's been injured. Um, everybody thought he was going to duplicate that seven-sack season shit. Trey Flowers, like, I wish I could run the Lions. I, would, I, I mean, I'm way more qualified than Bob Quinn. Bob Quinn probably never caught a football. But Okura is a dog. And you look at this defense, man. If I had to take it over, man, Walker, Cora, Orarie would be the only three players that would be, I mean, other, other than the young guys. You know, Jeff, can, I think Jeff is still going to be a good player, Jeff Okuda. But everybody else can leave, to be honest, man, as far as the starters, man. This defense is trash, lacks talent. But Okoro is a dog. I think he's been here before Patricia been here. I could be wrong. But he a dog, man. We, we got to we got to give Mitch Flowers right now, man. But... When, when Jim Source is here, man, we had defense. I mean, even when Rod Marinelli, see, we had defensive ends and linemen that just came in like like clockwork. Andre Fluellen, 
Oh, uh, man. Uh, who else you had come in here? Uh, Sean Rogers. Just they, you know, they just come. George Johnson came and got 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 on and got a big contract. Never did nothing again. We used to plug and play, man, with defense and Cal Vandenbosch, Cliff Avery, Willie Young, and Patricia's just the opposite of that, man. But Romeo Cora, dog. Let me know what you guys think about him. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all my social media links in the description. Check me out on Sportscaster. That link there as well too for all my live streams. I'll be on there over on here, Facebook and Sportscaster. But if you want to uh, kind of get a draft spotlight in between now and tomorrow's draft, hit me up with a uh, with a video request um, on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Uh, you want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJGood313, PayPal, link in the description. Appreciate the love support. We gone.